Okay, we're still here in the dark room, and uh, we're going to talk about emulsions now. Um, there's a few different types of emulsions. Uh, we can start off with uh, the original emulsion from the industry, which is called diazo-based emulsion. Uh, diazo-based emulsion is probably the first emulsion that we had uh, next to capillary film. And uh, diazo emulsion was designed to work with water-based inks. Um, because it was designed to work with water-based inks, uh, it's a little bit more difficult to work with in regards to uh, reclaiming and removing the emulsion from the screens. Uh, Diazo emulsion, very economical in price, uh, not so quick in drying, uh, but very durable in production when it came to water-based inks. And uh, nowadays, uh, a lot of people use Plastisol inks, uh, but again, becoming very popular is water-based ink. So it's good to know about diazo-based emulsions. Um, they were the original emulsion for water-based inks, the most durable for water-based inks, and uh, the emulsion to consider when printing with water-based inks. Diazo emulsions is a two-part emulsion similar to a dual-cure emulsion, which is the next emulsion we're going to touch on. Um, I have a sample here of a dual-cure emulsion. A dual-cure emulsion um, and a diazo emulsion are a two-part emulsion. And uh, basically what that means is you have a product called diazo. The diazo is what activates or makes the emulsion light sensitive. Okay, without this diazo, the emulsion is not going to be light sensitive and it will do nothing for you. You can expose it and it will wash right out. So it's very important that you add this product to your emulsion, uh, whether it be in diazo or dual cure emulsion. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about dual cure emulsion, but uh, I just want to talk about the mixing of this real quick. Uh, normally, this comes in a powder form or a liquid form. And what you do is you want to add uh, distilled water probably to the bottom of the cap. Um, and then you want to shake it or mix it very well. Uh, shake it or mix it for about, maybe about a minute to two minutes real quick. Um, once it's uh, been diluted, you want to go ahead, unscrew the top, pour it into the emulsion, and then stir it for another three minutes, three to five minutes. Make sure it mixes in there really good, properly. Then you want to let it sit uh, for a maybe about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, because uh, by, by stirring it, you have created a lot of air bubbles. Okay, so you want to get rid of some of those air bubbles and let them just kind of um, go away on their own. So diazo-based, water-based uh, inks is your best choice. Dual, uh, dual cure emulsion, okay, that is probably your most popular emulsion in the industry. It's the most user friendly and was designed to work with Plastisol inks. Uh, when Plastisol inks first came out, the diazo based emulsion was not very user friendly, again, in the sense of reclaiming. People like to reuse their screens over and over again to save money. Dual cure emulsion, more user friendly, easier to expose easier to reclaim, but again, the uh, exposure time on it, just like the diazo, um, is a little bit longer, and we'll go over exposures on that. But um, price-wise, very economical, uh, user-friendly. So if uh, you're looking for something uh, with those characteristics, dual care emulsion is what I would recommend for printing on uh, plastisol emulsions. Uh, there is dual care emulsions for other types of inks, and you know that's kind of touching into the graphic industry, but being that this is a uh, more geared towards textile, uh, I will uh, definitely uh, say that Plastisol ink is probably your uh, dual cure emulsion is your best choice for Plastisol ink. Diazo for water base. Then we have another product. Um, let's see, this is a Yolano QTX, very popular in the industry. Um, I used to work for Murakami Screen. Uh, Murakami Screen. Um, I can honestly say was uh, one of the first developers of this photopolymer emulsion. And uh, I am very familiar with uh, the emulsion side because of my background in uh, emulsions and mesh working at Murakami Screen. Uh, Yolano, another great company. They've been around for many of years, a uh, U.S. company. And uh, they also developed the photopolymer uh, not, not too uh, far later than uh, Murakami did and uh, came out with a product called QTX. Uh, QTX product uh, is red in color, and uh, photopolymers, um, basically their fame 
is ready for use emulsion. No more mixing. We can throw away the diazo, we can throw away the sticks. This emulsion, as you see it, it's ready for use. You can open it up and start using it immediately. Uh, another thing we didn't touch on right now was the shelf life. Shelf life for, pre, uh, or for mixed emulsions is a lot shorter than a pre-mixed emulsion. And uh, the shelf life on a, a mixed emulsion, once you mix it, without mixing it's about uh, eight months to a year. Uh, once you mix it, you got four to six weeks to use it and then it's no good, it goes bad. So you have to throw it away. So the one part emulsion would probably be your best bet if you don't use it a lot. Um, you don't have to worry about it going bad. You can buy it in smaller quantities. Um, in the long run, it will cost you more, but quite honestly, if you're throwing this uh, less expensive emulsion away, um, you're going to go through a lot more emulsion faster and probably waste more money. So it's just some of the things that weigh out. Uh, another advantage of photopolymer emulsion, uh, which I'm a big fan of, and, uh, is because of speed. Time is money. We continue to emphasize on how time is money. Photopolymer emulsions, they're faster in exposing, faster in drying. Uh, they coat thicker faster, so maybe you can get away with a one-on-one -on -one coat on a screen with a photopolymer emulsion. Uh, they reclaim very easy. Um, all the way around, I think the photopolymer emulsions are a lot faster. Um, but they are light sensitive because they expose faster. So if you don't have the proper working environment, you might run into some problems. So dual care motion, photopolymer motion, are probably the two that you'll be weighing out on which product to consider. Um, the diazo motion, again, I want to emphasize, that's more for the water-based inks. Very difficult to reclaim for the simple reason that it's designed for water-based inks, and we use water to reclaim. Um, capillary. Capillary films. Not so popular in uh, screen printing, um, but now, or other than until now, that we're printing uh, specialty stuff like uh, high density. Uh, high density is a capillary film that comes in sheets. Uh, it comes in a lot of different thicknesses, um, anywhere from 100 microns all the way up to 1,000 microns. And uh, these, cap these specialty capillary films, very neat product, something to look into to offer your customer as a specialty item. Um, ask your distributors about printing high density and uh, who knows, they might even come in and uh, give you a demo on how to use it or what it looks like. Or, go, or stop by and visit them and see if they have a printed sample of high density. Um, personally, I think it's a really neat uh, specialty uh, printing. I started with high density uh, 13 years ago and it's still around and doing very well. Uh, but capillary film was really designed for the graphic industry um, and actually it was one of the original forms of emulsion also. Uh, to get consistency and a nice even lay down of emulsion. Uh, you can use capillary film, but quite honestly, the durability on capillary film in production, not very good. It's really good for short runs, but long runs, uh, it becomes very brittle and can break down a lot faster. Uh, but the applying of capillary film is much faster than a liquid emulsion. You just apply water on the screen and you basically put the film onto the screen while it's wet, and that's it. You let it dry. So that's capillary film.